back, yogis. Hi, I'm Angie with Harma Yoga, and I'm just going to go through a really beautiful sun salutation practice, Surya Namaskar. We're going to start with a couple of modifications. We're going to build with intensity as we go through the flow. So if you know your person prefers to stay with the modifications, certainly stay with the modifications. And for those of you that are more advanced, you want to flow along with me and hit it right from the beginning, feel free to do that. So this, this the intention for my practice today is all about just getting our bodies up, building some heat, building some warmth. If you're in your jammies, take those jammies off, put some yoga wear on, feel like a person again. Life is about to bloom, just like everything around us. So let's go ahead, hit that mat, and feel really amazing. So go ahead, get your yoga wear on, get out of those jammies, and meet me right back here on your mat for some nice flowing. All right. So just to come into a nice Surya Namaskar or Sun Salutation, if you know that you need props, have those props as you need them. I'm not going to cue props today. I'm just going to flow it out in my body. And know that if you are a person who needs props, have those props handy for your body. Let's just take a moment here. Come, just come into Sukhasana Easy Pose. So just coming into any seated posture. And we won't be here for a real long time. Just enough to ground, to connect with the earth, and then maybe set an intention for our practice today. So as you come into seated, you can sit on elevation if you need to. So adding some blocks, blocks or blankets or a pillow. If your knees are high, you want to come up, up on a little bit more height. This helps to create the natural curve in the spine and is a lot more conducive for seated if your body is not wanting to sit today. Crossing at the ankles and tucking the feet gently underneath the thighs. Taking a few shoulder rolls back, a few shoulder rolls forward. Bringing the arms up overhead and just taking maybe a light twist from side to side. Let's go ahead and bring palm to palm compression of heart space. Inhale, lengthen long through the spine, and as you exhale, draw the chin toward the chest. As you draw the chin toward the chest, begin to feel the rhythm of the heart, and then begin to connect with the rhythm of your heart. As you connect with the rhythm of the heart, begin to allow your breath to slow and deepen. Let it drop a little deeper into the base of the lungs, and as you breathe, expanding the lungs from side to side, front to back, top to bottom. Draw the breath upward to the heart space, meeting the thumbs of the heart space, and audibly or silently release the breath, let it go. Go ahead and move through two more rounds at your leisure. And on your third breath, if you'd like to set an intention for this practice, for your day, for the week, and now it's the opportunity to do so. Allow these words to form in your mind and as they form, they create an intention. We'll take one more breath at heart space, drawing the power and the positivity of your intention. And as you release the breath, share that positive intention with the world. Inhale brings us back to center eyes, begin to bring focus. Inhale the hands up through the midline and as you exhale, begin to twist to the right. Releasing the back hand behind your body in a line. Inhale, brings us back again to center, crossing the right arm over the left, drawing forward. Inhale, brings us back to center, releasing that top arm up overhead and release it behind the body in a bind on the other side. Inhale, brings us back to center and we cross, leaning forward, coming into a forward fold. Inhale, brings us back to center, uncross it with the right arm, bringing it up overhead and releasing it behind the body in a bind. Inhale, brings us back to center and we cross. We do that once more on each side, coming forward in a forward fold. Inhale, brings us back to center. Inhale, the left arm up and as you exhale, release it behind the body in a bind. Inhale, brings us back to center as you exhale, crossing left over right, coming forward in a forward fold. Inhale, brings us back to center. Inhale, the right arm up and as you exhale, release it behind the body in a bind. Inhale, brings us back to center. And we're gonna go ahead and move through a few rounds of cat and cow just seated. So placing the hands on the thighs. As you inhale, begin to draw the chest through the gaze of the shoulders, bring your gaze up. As you exhale, hollow out the belly and round the spine. Inhale, draws the chest forward, bring your gaze up. And as you exhale, draw back. Round through the spine, hollowing out the belly. Just go ahead and move through a few more rounds. Working with your body. 
and last one here. Let's roll on the knees and begin to bring ourselves into table position. As we come into table position, let's go ahead and extend a leg or two out, pressing out through the back heel, dropping that right hip to square your hips, and we come right back to center. Stepping back with the left leg, pressing out through the heel, and creating a little bit of openness in the back line of the leg. Go ahead and bring it right back to center, and we'll go ahead and move through some traditional cat and cow. Wrists directly underneath the shoulders, knees about hip distance apart directly underneath the hips. We're going to start before we come into full cat and cow by coming into some pelvic rocking. As you inhale, draw the pelvis toward the body, creating a slight tucking sensation of the tailbone. Pause in here. And as you exhale, send the pelvis away. Draw the pelvis toward the body, posterior tilt of the pelvis. As you exhale, draw it away, anterior tilt. Anterior, posterior, anterior, posterior. So getting that movement, that fluid movement of the pelvis, pelvic region. So beginning to train the abdominal muscles to engage, allowing the abdominal muscles to work and coordinate with the spine. And go ahead and come back into neutral spine. We're going to go ahead and move this into full cat and cow. Breathing into lower abdominal center your breath all the way up through the spine, hollowing out the belly, gazing between the hands. Inhale, direct the chest through the gaze of the shoulders, head and neck move with the spine. We'll go ahead and move through a few more rounds here. Just allowing that beautiful articulation of the spine, breath and body move together. And last two. And last one here. And release. Go ahead and bring the big toes together, release the hips toward the heels. We come into our first child's pose. Starting with an active child's pose by extending the arms out in front, creating space underneath the armpit and allowing the hips to release toward the heels. You can begin to release your chin or your forehead to the mat. And then just take a few rounds of deep breathing. So just letting your body breathe into this pose. Got about three more rounds of breath here, finding your favorite variation of child's pose, finding a place in the floor of the arms. Last two. And last one. We breathe ourselves right back to center. From here, we're going to transition into Adho Mukha Spanasana, downward facing dog, rolling the fingertips to the palms of the hands. Fingers are extended nice and wide. Pinkies on the outside edge of your mat, pressing the ring and the thumb into your mat, and then drawing energy up through the arms, engaging the arms. Tuck your toes, bend your knees, send your sit bones high for down dog. Go ahead and take a little bit of movement here by walking the dog, treading through the feet. You can begin to transition between dog and plank. You can bring it into dog and child's pose if you're feeling a little more fatigued today. So again, finding that fluid movement that you need. Maybe extending a leg up, maybe bringing it into a nice opening of the hips, looking under your armpit. Make sure to do that to both sides, extending up and stacking those hips, looking under your armpit, hello. Bringing it right back down to center and coming back into some treading. Go ahead and begin to set the feet mat distance apart. Get a nice wide space, changing that sensation of your dog. And finding that maybe the heels are able to come down if you widen that space. So sometimes that's just a nice feeling, a little different variation of down dog. We'll go ahead and step those feet right back together, about hip distance apart. Let the shoulders roll back and down, widen the space between the shoulders, lengthening the spine, crown releases toward the earth. Take a pause here. And then continue to walk your hands back toward your feet, coming into Ardhi Uttanasana, half forward fold. Inhale, exhale, deep and forward fold. And as you come into a deeper forward fold, if you want to add a little bit more decompression with the spine, you can bend strongly through the knees. You can grab onto opposite elbows if that feels good. You can walk your hands under your feet for gorilla, and you can even wrap your hands around the back of the calves. Now, if you want to add even more in time, you can begin to straighten out through the legs and take yourself into a deeper forward fold. Inhale brings us into halfway lift. And then from here, pause, go ahead and bend through the knees and inhale the arms up overhead. Palms come together, exhale, release, heart space. 
From heart space, inhale up through midline. As you exhale, dive forward, come forward. Ardi Utanasana, half forward fold. Inhale, exhale, deepen forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. You go ahead and walk your hands forward, coming in back into downward facing dog. Go ahead and tread through the feet. Walking your dog. Find a long spine, then walk your feet forward. You meet your hands at the front of your mat. Ardi Utanasana, half forward fold. Inhale, exhale, deepen forward fold. Bend the knees, inhale the arms up overhead. Palms come together, exhale, release heart space. So from here, we're gonna go ahead and come right into some sun salutations. We're gonna start with a couple sets of modified sun salutations, moving into more of a conventional sun salutation. And then we're gonna take it into a little bit more as we move into our practice. So again, leveling up each time, and then you can stay with the practice that works best for you. You can come along with me or stay with the practice that works best for you. So as we come into the front of our mat, either heels and toes touching or hip distance apart, we need to find that space in your heels good. Draw the toes up, spread them wide, and slowly release them down. Have full contact with the mat, pressing evenly between the ball and the heel. Shoulders roll back and down, reach the fingertips toward the earth and allow your palms to rotate outward. Allow the heart to shine through the gaze of the shoulders. Slight bend to the knees, inhale the arms up overhead, palms come together, exhale, release heart space. From heart space, inhale up the midline, as you exhale, dive forward, come forward, Ardi Utanasana, half forward fold. Inhale, exhale, deepen forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Root your hands and step it back into plank pose. As you come into plank pose, draw the heels away from the body, pause here. Drop the knees, bend the elbows, keep them close to the side and release the chest all the way down. Extend one leg and then the other, pressing the top of the feet into the mat. Light pressure with your hands into the mat and as you inhale, lengthen off. So lengthening the spine, not lifting. We're lengthening, creating more space between the vertebra. Exhale, release down, bend the knees, press your palms into the mat, coming into table position. From table position, tuck the toes, send the sit bones high down dog. Go ahead and try it out. Come back to stillness, and when you're ready, begin to walk the feet forward to meet the hands. Ardi Utanasana, half forward fold. Inhale, exhale, deepen forward fold, bend the knees, inhale the arms up overhead, palms come together, exhale, release heart space. From heart space, inhale up to the midline. As you exhale, dive forward, come forward. Ardi Utanasana, half forward fold. Inhale, exhale, deepen forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Bring your hands and step back this time with the opposite foot plank pose. Draw the heels away from the body. Go ahead and drop to the knees. Bend your elbows, keep them close to the side, and lower down. Thumbs move to the top of the ribs. Walk your feet away from your body. And as you inhale, lengthen long through the spine. Exhale, release, come all the way down. Bend your knees, press your palms into the mat, tuck the toes, send those sit bones high down dog. Go ahead and tread through the feet and create some movement. Bring it back to stillness. When you're ready, stepping forward to meet the hands, Ardha Utanasana, half forward fold. Inhale, exhale, deepen forward fold. Bend your knees, inhale the arms up overhead, palms come together, exhale, release heart space. Coming into our next set, inhale the hands up through the midline. As you exhale, dive forward, come forward, Ardha Utanasana, half forward fold. Inhale, exhale, deepen forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, through your hands, and step back into plank pose. From plank pose, roll forward on the toes, bend the elbows, keep the arms close to the side, scoop the chest to the gate of the shoulders, coming into upward facing dog. Roll on the toes, draw the sit bones up and back, down dog. Go ahead and create some movement. When you're ready, stepping forward to meet the hands, Ardha Utanasana, half forward fold. Inhale, exhale, deepen forward fold. Bend the knees, inhale the arms up overhead. Palms come together, exhale, release heart space. From heart space, inhale up the midline. As you exhale, dive forward, come forward. Ardha Utanasana, half forward fold. Inhale, exhale, deepen forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift through your hands and step back into plank pose. From pain, Plank pose, roll forward on the toes, bend the elbows, scoop the chest to the gate of the shoulders, shoulders roll back and down, bring your gaze upward to challenge yourself. Roll on the toes, run through the lower abdominals, bend those sit bones high down dog. Go ahead and create some movement. Come back to stillness. When you're ready, step forward to meet your hands, Ardha Utanasana, half forward fold. Inhale, exhale, deepen forward fold, bend the knees, inhale the arms up overhead, palms come together, exhale, release heart space. Inhale, up to the midline, as you exhale, release the palms, dive forward, come forward. Ardha Utanasana, half forward fold. Inhale, exhale, deepen forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Step back with the right foot coming into low lunge. Bring the arms up overhead, spray out the fingers. Inhale, palms together, exhale, release down to the midline. Tuck your back foot, raise that back knee, step it back, plank pose. 
from plank pose, roll <laughs> forward on the toes, bend your elbows, scoop the chest to the gate of the shoulders, let your heart stay shy. Roll on the toes, right into the lower abdominals, send those sit bones high, down dog. Go ahead and tread through the feet. Take a moment here, good. Inhale this time, the right leg up, step it forward, release the, the knee, come into low lunge, right out with the heart. Inhale brings us back to center, right down to the midline. Tuck the back toe and step it forward into Ardhya Udanasana, half forward fold. Inhale, exhale, deepen forward fold, bend your knees, inhale the arms up overhead, palms come together, exhale, release heart space. From heart space, inhale up the midline. As you exhale, dive forward, come forward, Ardhya Udanasana, half forward fold. Inhale, exhale, deepen forward fold, inhale, halfway lift, bring your hands and step back with the right foot, release that knee down, inhale, draw the arms up overhead, open your heart. Inhale, brings us back to center, exhale, release down to the midline. Bring your hands on either side of your foot, tuck that back toe, raise that knee, step it back, plank pose. Roll forward on the toes, bend the elbows, keep them close to the sides, scoop your chest to the gate of the shoulders, bring your gaze upward, roll on the toes, right into the lower abdominals, send those sit bones high, down dog. Go ahead and tread through the feet, create a little bit of movement. Inhale the right leg up, bend the knee and step it forward. Lowering down on the back knee, Re inhale the arms up overhead, spine open the heart, Inhale, palms together, exhale, release down to the midline. Root your hands on either side of the front foot, tuck the back toe, raise that knee, and step it forward into Ardha Udanasana, half forward fold. Inhale, exhale, deepen forward fold, bend your knees, inhale the arms up overhead, palms come together, exhale, release heart space. Inhale the hands up through the midline. As you exhale, dive forward, come forward, Ardha Udanasana, half forward fold. Inhale, exhale, deepen forward fold, inhale, halfway lift, root your hands and step back. Release that back knee down, inhale the arms up overhead, open that heart, inhale palms together, exhale release down to the midline. Release your hands on either side of that front foot, tuck your back toe, raise that knee, step it back, plank pose. From plank pose, roll on the toes, bend the elbows, scoop the chest to the gate of the shoulders. Let that heart space shine, bring your gaze upward to challenge your balance, roll on the toes, try into the lower abdominals, stand those sit bones high, down dog. Go ahead and tread through the feet. Inhale the right leg up, bend the knee, step it forward, Drop to the back knee, inhale, arms up overhead, open your heart. Inhale, palms together, exhale, release down to the midline. Tuck the back toe, raise that back knee, step it forward. Ardha Utanasana, half forward fold. Inhale, exhale, deepen forward fold, bend the knees, inhale, the arms up overhead. Palms come together, exhale, release heart space. And breathe. <sighs> now, if that doesn't make you feel amazing, I don't know what will. Take a moment here, let all that good energy just flow through your body and breathe. So from here, you can use that as a warm up, continue on with some more yoga postures. If there's some that you're really looking to work on, that's just a really great way to open up your heart, to open up your mind, to open up that blood flow, to shake all that stuff out of your body, to take those jammies off and put some damn clothes on if you've been in your quarantine for a period of time and feel really good. Go outside, do this outside is even better. So, from my heart to yours, Yuki's truly, truly, my heart to yours. Have an amazing day. Namaste.